Okay. All right, I'll get started here. Um, disappointed with the outcome. Um, did some really good things in this game and and uh, did some things that we have to improve on. Uh, made too many mistakes uh, to beat a quality opponent like Auburn on the road. Um, there's things all of us need to do better, um, but uh, there's an awful lot of good things, a lot of things to build on. Um, you know, I think there was uh, two, three, four plays that uh, once again, uh, can swing the game and certainly about a five minute span there where uh, we turned it over essentially twice with the fumble and with the uh, with the uh, option with the fake punt. So things, um, you know, I thought we did well. I thought we were very physical, uh, kept them off balance for a good portion of the game. Um, you know, we, we have to get the ball in there at the end of the, the first half. I think that's obviously a critical uh, moment. Um, you know, to, to score, you know, to get some points there. Um, you know, in the, the drive prior to that, we were starting to get it close to field goal range as well and got the hold and took the sack. And so uh, two possessions there at the end of the first half uh, were critical, uh, along with the five-minute stretch there in the second half um, with the with the two turnovers. So uh, big, big, big turning points in the game there. So I'll open it up. Curtis, can you hear? Yes, we can hear. Okay, could you hear Coach Stoops? Yes. Okay, good deal. You're up first, bud. Uh, Coach, just um, thoughts on Terry Wilson's game, um, how he came back in the first game coming back from injury. Well, there, there's a lot to build on there. Um, there's a lot he can do better. Um, but, you know, I think the turnovers were, were a big uh, piece of it uh, for him. And, you know, that, that's hard to simulate uh, that in practice. And, and um, so, um, you know, I think that's the, the critical area where he needs to improve is, is securing that football uh, in the run game. And then uh, with the interception late in the first half, bad decision there. But uh, I think he did a lot of positive things and a lot, lot to build on. So just like uh, most of our guys and all of us, uh, some good and, and some to, needs to improve. I remember Ray's hand for questions. First one from John Hale. Mark, what was the explanation you got from the officials on uh, Chris's play at the goal line right at the end of the half. It looked like on review he was in the end zone, so it wasn't really clear what exactly they ruled in that situation. I, 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 uh, I don't understand it either. Um, he was clearly in. Um, I, I really can't get a good explanation. Um, I didn't really get good explanations all, all day. I don't know if... Uh, you know, us wearing these masks and all that, uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, but, uh, you know, that, that was a, a, a tough, um, that was a big swing. Josh Moore. Hey, Mark, just to follow up on that a little bit, uh, it was a big swing, but how much do you, uh, did that carry over into the second half? What, what was the, the guy's mood from there? Well, you know, we can't let it. Um, you know, I don't know if it did. I mean, we came in at half knowing that uh, we were doing some very good things. And, and um, you know, certainly our guys felt comfortable. They felt, you know, physical and felt like, you know, we knew it was going to be a tough game, a close game. And, uh, you know, whether that affected us or uh, I don't know. Um, we certainly didn't get off to a fast start. I think two, three and outs offensively uh, really hurt us uh, to start with. Nick Rouse. Was Max Duffy's fake a, a called fake, or was that a situation where he, he got a read and just took off? Stand there. Uh, that was a situation where um, it was a read, and uh, that, that's not on Max. That's on me. That's on us. Um, we had it on when we were down to the possession before, yeah, but we turned it over and we fumbled. And then uh, we went back out and being down nine, uh, that, that's not when you call that. That, that, that shouldn't have put that on Max. 
um, that's my fault. I got to communicate. I got to, uh, you know, get, you know, take that off um, with my special teams coach uh, before, you know, prior to Max going out there, um, take that read off of him. So that's on us. That's on me. Derek, Derek Terry. Mark, how much did this game kind of play out the way you wanted in terms of, you know, you won the time of possession, outrushed them, outgained them. Obviously, the turnovers were big, but along those lines, was it kind of the style of game you wanted to play? Definitely gave us a chance to play, uh, to our chance to win. Uh, there, there's no question. Um, there's critical moments in games that, uh, you know, you have to execute, and our players know that. You can play 95% of the game right, and if you play 5% of it wrong in certain critical areas, you, you, you're not going to win. Um, I, I thought we played a, a big portion of this game very good, very physical, um, you know, did some things, we, you know, we want to do, um, you know, but so there's a lot of good things to take away, and, and, the, and then there's mistakes. There's also individuals uh, that make a difference, and uh, they have a wide out that's a, that's an absolute monster, and uh, he's hard to match up with. And what they do, it's it's hard in certain situations to double them. And uh, you know, one play we had today, you know, we essentially had one under and one over, and and uh, he went up and made that incredible catch. Um, you know, and then uh, the one late in the game uh, was a bad, you know, was tough. It was a tough situation. We're on third and four there. Uh, they have options, um, and he's a, he's a tough matchup on anybody in the league. Uh, made two incredible catches, and, you know, so I think there's critical plays, there's critical moments. Um, then there's uh, some great individual efforts as well, and uh, you have to credit them on that one, and certainly Seth. Larry. Mark, just what you've seen, the, the mistakes that you're talking about, ones that are, I said the mistakes that you, you you were talking about, those that you feel are easily correctable or the kind that kind of upset you more with the veteran team? No, I think there's a lot of, uh, you know, things that n n none of us like. Um, you know, th there's no there's no warm-ups. Uh, there's no, you know, you're going right into it on the road at Auburn. Um, there's there's not a team in this league that's not going to make mistakes. There's uh, the ones that can make the fewest and have the ability to overcome the mistakes. Um, you know, so we we certainly uh, made some and uh, need to get them corrected. But uh, I'm very confident we can get them corrected and move on. John Hale, Mark, you all acknowledged all through camp that Terry was going to have some rust that he was going to have to shake off. How much of his mistakes today are things that you think he can get corrected just by playing more after the long layoff? Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt. Yeah, he'll build on this. He'll he'll bounce back quickly and uh, be ready to play uh, next week. And so I thought there was a lot of positive things here that he did. All right, we got two more. Jeff Drummond. Hey, uh, Mark, I was wondering about Cavassier's play, about nine yards of carry today. Yeah, Cavassier, I know uh, he had a big run early. Um, he, he was running hard. Um, you know, I think they have some, you know, uh, very talented linebackers that are active. I thought we were close uh, to, to ripping off a couple – couple other big ones um, so you know I thought he really did a good job and you know we've we did this all last year right it's one guy or the, or the other and or the other I mean we feel like you know there's three good guys and in, in uh, you know in really more but uh, those three that get the majority of the carries can any one of them can have the big play or the big moment and uh, you know it was nice to see Cavassier play play well in his home state all right, we'll wrap up Coach Stoops with Josh Moore. Mark, seemed like Akeem Hayes and Demarcus, I know he had to fumble there late, but it seemed like those guys kind of stood out uh, as far as guys who hadn't really played a whole lot before. Just can you talk about how those – did they kind of meet your expectations of them today or could they have done more? Yeah, I was disappointed with the fumble as well uh, late um, there in uh, – you know, but uh, they, they both have the ability of really worked hard. It was nice to see a king uh, make a big play, a couple big plays, and uh, do some good things. So, um, you know, overall, more efficient uh, throwing the ball. Just looking at the stats here, you know, 22 of 38. Um, 
you know, for 200, almost 240. So, uh, you know, they're efficient. Um, you know, we missed some. Well, you know, we had a couple of plays there to set up another one of our sidelines uh, that we had set up again. The, the, you know, a play we hit earlier with the wheel route and was open. I think we threw that one out of bounds just a touch. But um, you know, we have the ability to get uh, you know to build on what we what we did throwing the ball. All right, I appreciate it, everybody. We'll get the players in here shortly. Thank you. Got Terry Wilson here. Go ahead and get started with questions. John Hale. Terry, um, how did it feel just to be out there today and, and how much of some of the mistakes, whether it was the fumble or the interception, can you attribute to just rust and having to work through some things after a year off? Um, I mean, it felt great to be back out there. Um, I mean, it's just tough to win a game when you have turnovers. Um, you know, for myself, I have to do a better job on, you know, holding on to the ball while I'm running. But I just feel like, you know, being off a year, I haven't been hit at all. So, uh, but, you know, no excuses, but um, just have to be able to hold on to the football. Josh Moore. Hey, Terry, that play at the end of the first half, I know you had the interception there, but before that, you know, it looks like Chris goes in. What, how did you all feel? Like, how much did you think? Was he in, and, and how much did that affect you guys in the second half, you think, going out? Um, we definitely thought he was in. Um, you know, I, I thought it was going to be a touchdown after they watched it again, but, you know, it wasn't. So, you know, we just have to, you know, move forward. You know, that, that's over with now. We can't just, you know, dwell on it. So, just got to keep moving forward and get better. Nick Roush. Early on, a lot of your throws were – screen passes into the flat. Uh, was that a concerted part of the game plan to, to see a couple of early completions before y'all went downfield? Uh, yeah, it was just, you know, get the ball out quick. You know, just kind of the thing to see what they're going to do, how they're reacting to that. Um, but, you know, the, really the game plan was just to get the ball out of my hands quick and get the ball to the receivers so they can you know, make some plays. Larry Vaughn. Yeah, Terry, obviously the play after it was ruled that Chris didn't get in, you ran the ball the, the next play. Can mm -hmm. you kind of talk about the thought process on that play and the play on the interception off kind of what was going through the process there? Yeah, um, so I was rolling out to the right. Um, I had an edge pressure guy. He was, you know, he was coming off the edge. Um, so I really didn't have as much time that I needed um, to make the throw. I thought I had Chris open, um, and then 23, he just – came off of his guy and just came back and intercepted it. But, you know, you know, it happens, but we can't, we can't, you know, turn the ball over, especially on the one yard line. And, um, you know, I, I just knew I had to go, you know, try to make a play and, and, you know, stop him from scoring. What happened on the play before when you tried to run the ball yourself and they seemed to stop you right there just short? Yeah, I, I just didn't get in. Okay. John Hale. Terry, it, it did look like some of your young receivers stepped up today. Some guys we hadn't seen before, Akeem Hayes, Demarcus Harris. Obviously, Josh had a big game. How encouraging was it to see those guys make plays, especially after last year when, when they didn't get used a whole lot? I mean, it's huge. Um, you know, we, we know those guys can make uh, big plays. You know, they've showed us, you know, this whole camp. And, you know, the receivers, they work really hard. You know, they work really hard, and I don't feel like they get, you know, enough credit as they should. But, um, you know, they, they – they put in a lot of work and, you know, they're just growing and we're just looking forward to getting better and getting back out there on Monday and correcting our mistakes. Lonnie. Lonnie, you're muted, bud. Okay. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, Terry, I, I just want to uh, continue uh, on the the uh, discussion about the Akeem Hayes. It appears to me that uh, this young man, uh, I think he came here with the reputation of having some speed. Uh, and so do you think going forward that you, you'd be using him more maybe because he can create separation and what have you? Or, or what do you see for his future here I mean, in, in the offense? Uh, of course. You know, Akeem Hayes, he definitely has some speed to him, and he's a shifty guy. Um, you know, he, he can get open if he needs to. And, you know, I think that's what we like about him is that, you know, he could run really good routes and, um, you know, he, he uses his speed really well. 
Um, you know, it makes it easier for me to get the ball to him. So, um, Akeem, you know, he has, you know, tremendous speed to him and, you know, he's going to be a threat to defenses. All right, we'll wrap up with Nick Roush. What positives? I know a lot of folks are going to focus on the turnovers, but what, what positives can you take from this game going into um, I mean, we did a lot of big things, you know, good things against, you know, a good team. Um, you know, like I said, you can't win. It's hard to win a game with, you know, that many turnovers. But um, overall, as an offense, we did a lot of big things. And, you know, we just have to, you know, shake that one off and, and just move on. We have a lot of leaders on this team. So we just have to um, kind of practice ready to go. All right, guys, appreciate it. We'll get uh, DeAndre in here ASAP. Square here, Curtis. DeAndre, what was it like being out there first game of, of the season? How do you guys for performance overall? Um, it felt it felt good to finally be back out there. I feel like we played good. We just had a lot of mistakes, which is it happens in the first game. We just got to go back and watch film and clean it up. Uh, talk about the that fourth down play you made. Um, what, how, how did you, how did you end up being able to do that? Um, I just, I knew I was blitzing and I, I wasn't going to let anything stop me. I was going to get through the whole line. And when I, when I got through, I seen the back had the ball and I was like, I just got to get them down, make a play. John Hale. Yeah, Andre, obviously Seth Williams, the wide receiver had a huge game for them today. Just what kind of matchup? problem was he for for you guys just in general and, and how, how big a deal was that uh, he's a he's a he's a bigger receiver he's a physical receiver he has a uh, great hand so we knew he was going to be a problem coming in we just tried our best to contain him and you know stuff happens Josh John Jay, I know it's, it's hard to look at the things you did well and, and be happy about him right now but you had a pretty big play there early in the game and, and you guys were really you know, for the most part, going toe to toe with them um, until they kind of wear you down a little bit. There, just what what can you take away from from this one um, in terms of positives? Um, like I said, I, I feel like we play well. We just got to win our one on ones, and we just got to look at the mistakes that we did and just carry it on to the next game and just practice hard every day. John Hale, John Dre, just how emotional was it? Where in 22 when you first went out there on the field today, and, and what did that mean to you? Uh, it was very emotional. I had to um, control my emotions and uh, play with, uh, mentally. Uh, but it, it was good to honor him. And um, I had fun wearing his jersey, and I um, just continue to pray for him. Anything else? All right, we appreciate it, guys.